My name is Eric Benner. I'm the Vice President of Enterprise Transformation for Mythics. I'm also an Oracle Ace Director in that program for Oracle. So I'm very active on social media and I actually talk a lot about Oracle VM and Oracle Linux. My blog is talesfromthedatacenter.com. Oracle VM is a great free product from Oracle. And I love that when I can say free from Oracle. It's a full feature hypervisor. It competes well with other hypervisors in the market. However, it's free. You don't pay anything to use it. You can, however, pay for support if you need support. It offers all the features you expect in a hypervisor. Using technologies they call live migration, it allows me to move VMs from one machine to another. I have a technology called SiteGuard, which is an automation tool for automating fill over to disaster recovery sites. And feature for feature, it does almost everything VMware does, but costs a lot less. The big benefits to Oracle VM that I see in my, the users that I work with that use it is, first of all, performance. You don't have what I call the virtualization tax like you do on other hypervisors. So the CPU that you buy actually becomes more and more useful. You don't have all that overhead. You get really good disk performance, almost comparable to bare metal when you configure it correctly. And that's an important feature for people that are using it. And overall, the biggest performance is around virtualization and automation. You can build private clouds with Oracle VM using Enterprise Manager. It's actually very stable, and in the later releases, you can even patch the hypervisor without a reboot. So that it adds to the uptime to the environment. And when you run Oracle Linux inside his guest VMs, you can also use the case splice technology and patch the VMs without any outage. Scaling Oracle VM is an interesting prospect because you have two ways you can scale it. You can first of all use really, really big hosts with large numbers of CPUs. Four socket, eight socket CPUs are fully supported with it. But you can also scale it with a large number of servers in the environment. So you can scale horizontally and vertically. Have not had any issues with the scalability of Oracle VM. It scales really well. Setting up Oracle VM depends on what you want to do with it. If you want to do a basic install and use the normal management console, I've done that in a couple hours. I'm experienced with it. But if you want to build private clouds with it, you want to interface the enterprise manager, have chargeback functionality for users, you want to do cloud automation, that's a little more complicated. If you haven't done it, it takes about a week. However, there's a book from Oracle Press about Oracle VM3 and building private clouds, and that helps a lot with this task involved to build and support a system. One is the hypervisor. Right now, it's all using Zen. What would be really helpful is to have some choice in the underlying hypervisor technology, use KVM, which is very popular with certain workloads. There's also some features around it with extracting virtual machines and managing it that could show some improvement. I'd put it about a nine. Um, again, there's still some area for improvement with some of the newer technologies.